I got into cricket through my through my father, um, and some of my earliest memories are going to his cricket games as a young kid, raiding his cricket kit when he was out there fielding, and um, getting all dressed up and making my mum or, or my grandparents throw cricket balls to me. That's uh, I think that's where my love for cricket started. Um, so I have a, a lot to thank Dad for, and he was the one who got me into the game. I grew up just down on the south coast in New South Wales. Um, so the club at the time was Central Districts Cricket Club. Um, so that was the first club I played for as well. As I got older, I think towards the under-14s, I moved uh, to Warilla Cricket Club in the South Coast competition. And from there, I went into to Sydney. Um, I think I started playing grade cricket when I was 16 for Sutherland Cricket Club in Sydney. And I was lucky enough, I did, I did quite well that game, so that's probably why I remember it. Um, we played against some, some excellent players, um, being my first first game in Sydney and first game of grade cricket I was quite nervous to start with and turning up to the game and seeing uh, Dave Warner was opening the batting um, I think maybe a year before he, he played for Australia so um, Sam Robson who, who's recently played for England he was playing in that team as well and Nathan Bracken was coming back from an injury um, so that was an exciting day for me getting to face him um, as a 16 year old kid. Uh, I got 84 in that game um, and was lucky enough to, to snag three wickets. I'm still, uh, still unsure why Steve Smith actually gave me a bowl anyway, but um, yeah, it was a, a day to remember. It's been an interesting couple of years. I'm uh, going into my sixth season this one. It feels like uh, like yesterday I made my debut, so I think there's I've had to learn a lot. I uh, made a lot of mistakes in, in that time as well with my batting, so hopefully you know, yeah, I've learned from that and can get a bit more consistency in my game in, in years to come. I think uh, last year I, I got into a course online and did um, three or four months of, of photography. Um, I was a little bit nervous at first, it was a good starting point. I hadn't had much background in it previously, so it was good to give me a little bit of knowledge. Um, it's not something I've continued in the last six months or so, but I, I do keep an eye on it. I like to keep, take my camera around wherever I go. and you know, Every time I see a photo or, or a scene, I'm sort of thinking about it in my mind. But um, yeah, it's future, I don't know what it holds yet in terms of, of the photography sort of stuff. ACA were excellent in the whole process. They, they funded the, the program um, and, the, and the bit of study which I did. And there was a there was a time where I was thinking about going into further study and the ACA were going to be involved in helping me um, get into that as well, which sort of just came at the wrong time, I think. It was sort of as the cricket season was starting, so that was the only reason that stopped me from doing it. Uh, I'd love to play Test cricket for Australia, I think. Ever since I was a kid and put on my first pair of pads and some cricket gear, I, I wanted to do that, so that's still the main goal. Um, it might be a different way of going about it now. And, through a might have to start through a shorter form of the game you never know that's just I think the way the game's developed but yeah definitely number one goal is to play for Australia for a closer goal I'd like to win the Shield final again um, we won it two years ago and it was one of the greatest um, achievements I think of my career so far